All right, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a title here, and we're going to show you how to export out a title. So uh, I'm not, this is not a demo on creating titles, but I'm going to create a title and then kind of show you what we've got here. So, all right, everybody. So I've got uh, some titles put in here now, and uh, this movie is, is pretty well done except for the color grading. I have not done a sound mix for this either, by the way, but uh, we're not really getting any sound mixes. We'll just pretend like we have a, a big fancy sound mix or something. But uh, anyway, so I got my black video replaced, and I've got these titles here. And I've got these titles here. So it goes through black. Little credit phase in, just a quick little title there, and it's superimposed. I did this intentionally, I superimposed it over the uh, the opening video clip, because we're going to show you how to make sure that your titles that you export for Resolve have an what's called an alpha channel. If you just export this out here, it'll it'll be it'll be back down black like this, and it will if you do it as a regular video clip, it'll it'll have this black background like that. But you want to have it have this uh, clip, this video clip, have an alpha channel, which means it will be able to see through to the video and superimpose over. Uh, the video like that. Uh, then at the end, as it finishes, we've got this fade in with the um, with the credits at the end here, and then fades out. So, so we got it. Since these are generators as well, we've got to replace these things here with actual video files. So what I'm going to do here is we're going to turn off the bottom layer here, uh, so it's invisible. And uh, now I'm just I'm going to put an endpoint. I'm going to arrow up and land on the beginning of this, and hit I for endpoint, arrow down. And I'm going to turn my V2 track here so I can arrow down and land at the ending of this video clip. But what you got to do, though, this is one frame past the out, uh, out point of this clip because it's the playhead puts it at the at the at the next end point. So I got to arrow back one time and hit O for out point, And there you go. That cuts off right exactly on that out point right there. And I'm going to export this out. Now, you'd have to do this in a very specific manner. Luckily, with Premiere, you can do this with a PC now because you can export out to ProRes. I'm going to hit Command M or Control M. And I'm going to choose uh, QuickTime. And down here, I'm going to choose ProRes 444 with alpha. This maintains the alpha channel of your graphics here, which is really nice. I'm going to uncheck audio because we don't need audio. I'm going to hit output, uh, find the location here, and I'm going to call this. And and this, keep in mind, this here is the low quality. This is the 2K quality stuff. So here, so I'm going to go to the Biscuit Resolve proxies, and I'm going to call this open title. Save that, and we're going to export that out. And then I'm going to go to the end and grab this one here. Do I for end point, arrow down, and arrow back one time so it's on the ending frame rather than the end point of the black video, and O for out point. Control or Command M. We're going to choose ProRes 444. This one doesn't need the alpha, but I'm going to do it anyway just in case because it's not superimposed over any video. And I'm going to click on the name, and we're going to call this Closing Credits. Export that out. Those are my proxy versions right there. Now I need to do high quality versions. Now a way to get a good proper uh, 4K export out of this, like I said, in case we do want to do a 4K version of our movie, we want the uh, titles to be uh, 4K, and that's going to be our high quality version. I'm going to hit a new item icon here, and I'm going to say, and I'm going to create a new sequence. And the sequence I'm going to choose, I'm going to go, let's go to red. Red has some, and it doesn't have to be red, but this doesn't have to be red footage. It's just using the presets for the resolution here. And I'm going to choose uh, 4K, and look at my 4K. This one's almost right resolution. It's, it's 4096, but the, uh, but the this has to be 2160 uh, to get that uh, proper aspect ratio. And they do not have one in here that's set at that. So what I'm going to do is just hit select this one, go to settings, and I'm going to change the resolution here to 2160, which makes it my 1.89 1 uh, to 1 aspect ratio. Call this 4K sequence. And now I can go to my color grade here, and I can choose this title. Command C to copy, put it into this timeline here that's the higher resolution, and it will automatically up-res it to the proper resolution. This is a vector image, so it uh, properly up it uh, without losing any quality. Go back to the final edit. Let's grab this one here, copy it, go into my 4K sequence, just move over here a little bit and paste it. So I'm going to export. These are the exact same length, so I'm just going to do I for in point, arrow down, arrow left one time, one frame back, O for out point. Command M, and I'm going to name these the exact same name, but put them in the high quality folder now. So I'm going to go QuickTime, and this is going to be ProRes with Alpha. Uncheck the audio. I'm going to click on the 4K sequence here, and we're going to name this. And actually, I'm going to borrow the name here. This is the opening title, so I'm going to click on opening title in my, res in my proxies, but now move it to a different location. I clicked on it just so it borrowed that name. And now I'm going to go to my Biscuit Editor folder, go down to the red footage, and we're, we'll drop it right here in this folder. Open title, sequence in and out. Just make sure they've got in and out, and export. 
and now I'm going to export out the other one. In point, arrow down, arrow back one frame, out point, Command M or Control M, set this on 4444 with alpha, uncheck audio, click here, and I'm going to borrow the name in the proxies folder here for the closing credits, but change the location to the red footage, to the high quality footage, save it, export that out. And it's the sequence in and out, so it's 7 seconds, 23 frames. Okay, now that that's done, I'm going to import my proxy footage here to replace. Under the proxies, I've got closing credits, opening title. Select those. And now I can grab my open title and replace. I'm going to zoom up here a little bit. I can grab my open title, and this will be the exact same length. I don't have to have crossfades on it because it rendered it out as part of the part of that uh, file. And look at this, it's going to see through it to this thing. And it recognizes the alpha channel and sees through it. And I'm going to replace the closing credits as well. There we go. And that will fade in, of course, because it's rendered out as part of the video. I'm going to grab my closing credits here and drop it over this one here. And let's look through that. Oh, that was blank. Oh, that's because when I export it, I forgot to uncheck the eye right there. So I'm going to undo that. So I got I have to so I'm going to undo that. I'm going to have to redo that. So now that it's unchecked, that's why it had that track turned off. So, I'm, so it looks it was all blank. So, uh, so I'm going to delete this one here. And let's do that again. I frame point, arrow down, arrow back one frame, O, command M. Press 444 with alpha. Uncheck the audio. Hit the location here. Go to my proxies. And overwrite my closing credits here. Save it. Replace. Ex export. And yes, replace it. Oops, sorry about that. Okay, let's uh, import that now. Import my proxy file, closing credits. Replace that, and we have credits there at the end. So this project has been completely, everything in it has been replaced with an MOV file or a movie file, uh, me movie media rather than a generated file or some sort of generator with inside of Premiere, and it's ready to go to Resolve. So once that's done, uh, aside from the sound mix, but everything visual is here, and we can start color grading this. All right, so the next episode, I'm going to show you guys how to get an, uh, what's called a, a Final Cut Pro XML out of this. It's actually like an EDL, and edit decision list, that's going to be imported into Resolve. And uh, we're going to import the high-quality media, and we're going to get that this ready, get it all ready to color grade.